I've got a beautiful fresh little piece of tuna. I'm going to set it on top of a lovely corn salsa and it's going to remind us all of summer. It's equally at home on the barbecue as it is on the grill as we're going to do it today. So the first thing I've got is my gorgeous fresh tuna. Take a little bit of time selecting a good one. So I've marinated that tuna with one onion, a few nice oregano leaves, a few fresh thyme leaves and a little bit of olive oil. Now we're going to put that into the fridge for 15 minutes. So the first vegetable that we're going to prepare is our nice fresh corn and it's literally no work at all. I just run my knife down the back there and that's going to take two minutes to cook. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil down. Now I've had this pan on for about 45 seconds. We want to get that little sizzle and in goes the corn. We're talking about two minutes maximum. You just keep it moving in the pan, keep it tossing around. So that corn's just coming along nicely. Now I can see a tiny bit of colour and we really want to take it off the heat as soon as possible because you want to keep that little crunch in there. You don't want to have really soft overcooked corn. So we'll take that off, we'll put it into a bowl and we'll set it aside and go ahead and make our salsa. So I've got a whole serrano chili here and what I've done is I've run my knife down the middle we're going to take some of those seeds out because they're just too hot and they would overpower the dish. Again, we're going to get long strips of them. Just like that. We'll turn it around and we'll end up with a nice little dice again. So now we, it's the fun part. We're going to put all our salsa together. I've started off in there with my beautiful serrano chilies. I'm going to add my nice corn that I sorted up. I've allowed this to cool down, which is very important because the last thing we would want to do is cook this salsa. I've got the lovely fresh mango. Very important that you get a nice fresh mango. Now we're going to keep going with our salsa. I have a nice chopped red pepper. Now the next thing that I'm adding in is some beautiful fresh coriander. I also have a nice chopped spring onion or scallion as we call them here in Ireland. So you can see that fantastic array of colours in there. And I'm going to finish this off with two items that will really bring this salsa together. First I'm going to squeeze a nice little bit of lime juice. One whole lime or two halves. And so we've got the juice ready to go in. And that's really zingy. We'll put a little bit of salt in there and then two tablespoons of olive oil which is another fantastic binding agent. That is an amazing, amazing set of colours and all we have to do now is get that tuna on the grill ready to go. I've got a grill pan here, you could just as easily do this on the barbecue. So we lift that up and we want to get a nice full flame on that. And now I'll get the fish that we marinated earlier from the fridge. Now what you want to do is just take some of that marinade off you can see that's just started to soak into that fish beautifully and we'll have lovely, lovely flavours coming off that. When I put salt on there, what that's going to do is that's going to draw a little bit of the moisture. If you do that too early, your fish is going to stick to your pan and we really don't want that. So we'll just season it literally the second before it goes on the grill. And what I really recommend that you do is on a barbecue you could cook all four of them very easily. I'm going to cook these two at a time because if I put all four pieces of fish in there the temperature of my pan is going to come way down and we're not going to get that same effect of the sizzle and what will happen is because the temperature is low your fish is just going to sit on there and it's basically just going to boil. We're really looking for those beautiful grill marks on there and we'll try and keep it nice and pink in the middle and keep it really delicious. The trick with this dish is that we're not going to touch it. Cook it for one and a half minutes on this side, we're going to turn it over, we're going to cook it for another minute on that side, and that's it. So that fish has started to take the colour, and if you see that white bit coming up at the bottom, that's the heat rising through the fish, and that means that it's starting to cook at the bottom. So what we're going to do, is we're just going to slide and turn our fish. You see those beautiful grill marks? I'm going to do the same with this piece of fish. And you can see it's really starting to take a nice colour. 
Now a lovely little tip that I do is I've got a little bit of fresh oregano, a little bit of fresh rosemary, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift that and for the last part of the cooking, I'm going to set the tuna on that. I'll do the same with the other one. And what that does is those herbs, those are strong, robust herbs, they're going to start smoking on the grill. And that lovely smoke flavour is just going to travel up through the tuna at the last moment. If you're doing this on a barbecue, definitely, this is the perfect thing to be doing. So we're literally 30, 40 seconds away from being finished. I can see that that's going to be nice and pink in the middle. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take that fish and I'm going to place it on my plate. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to plate it now in one second. But if I leave that fish in the pan, it's going to keep cooking. So we're getting it off. The cooking process has stopped. So I'm ready to go and plate my succulent summer tuna.